Hey guys, I'm Gina and I make videos on organization and intentional living and I also talk about side hustling and life stuff and I share all kinds of things. So welcome if you're new here. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to budget paycheck by paycheck, specifically using a tool called You Need a Budget or YNAB um, would be the acronym. I've been using this tool since 2017. It is one of my absolute, it's my favorite budgeting tool. I've tried so many of them out there. I, f I forget what the one with the little envelopes. I forget when that was called. Um, I've tried Mint. I've tried Every Dollar. I've tried a regular spreadsheet. I've tried all the budgeting, like majority of the budgeting tools under the sun. I have tried creating my budget for the entire month and then, you know, trying to stick to just that. And it just, it doesn't work. So YNAB, um, they teach a budget by paycheck method. Um, and that is just, you budget as money comes in. Um, and that's kind of, that's kind of where they stop. So I do budgeting by paycheck is kind of different, but not really. Um, so, and it's, I'm going to do a tutorial. We'll jump into my computer here in a minute and I'm going to actually show you using the tool, like a hypothetical version of how I would do that. I'm not necessarily comfortable actually exposing my real numbers. Um, I th like think that <laughs> I, um, I don't really want to show them. I will like tell you guys like my debt amounts and that sort of thing. But as far as like actually into my actual account, seeing how much my house payment is and my car payment and all that, that's a little much for me. So, um, but we are going to do a hypothetical where I'm going to show you how I budget by paycheck. So just really quick, kind of how I do it is I do budget as money comes in, but I also allocate money for all major expenses that I know that are coming. And I save up throughout the month for things like my mortgage payment, my car note, um, and then any seeking funds that I have. I have a ton of them. Um, and I, and I may actually show you, no, I'll go into those in another video. Um, but, and then I just budget a little bit at a time. I don't ever use an entire paycheck for one bill. Um, so let's jump right in and I'll show you. Hey, okay, so we've popped into my computer. Um, and I've set up a demo for you guys. So in here, you'll see that we have a paycheck. And let's say you get paid every two weeks at $1,500. Um, every two weeks and then you have your mortgage and your car payment that are coming up here so these are your upcoming bills so that's the cool thing about YNAB is you can you can actually set it up one you can um, you can set your bank up to automatically import so your transactions automatically pull in which is super helpful then you can just take your bills and mark them as recurring monthly and then your budget automatically will reset itself um, as far as bills go each month. So that ma it makes, it automates a lot and it saves a lot of time and I really love it. So then this is what our budget would look like. So this is what we got paid. So we have $1,500 that we need to give every dollar a job. So <clears throat> first thing we want to check the calendar and see so the mortgage is due on the 31st and today is the 9th. So we have one, two. So we got paid this Friday. So we're going to get paid again on this Friday. So we would want to take the $900 and divide it by two. So now we've allocated for half of our, our mortgage, which is coming due. We've also got our car loan, which, how much is that? Which is $300. We've already got $200 budgeted. So we would just budget another $100. Or really, we don't even have to do that um, since we're budgeting paycheck by paycheck, um, depending on your other expenses. But you see what I'm saying. So we would do $100 here. Now we can pay our car payment early if we wanted to, or we can put extra to it. So then let's say we've got student loan that we want to pay towards. Um, so we put another 150 here. 
we've got groceries, dining out. So we've got groceries and we need groceries for the next two weeks. So we would budget, we'll just say $100 a week. So $200 there. We need um, fuel to get back and forth to work. So you could have, I have, um, I have these categories set up as cash envelopes and whatnot. So you could, we'll just, but we'll just say automated maintenance for now. So we need gas and let's say it's $40, we're burning $40 a week in gas. So we'll just say 80, but we want to give ourselves a cushion. So we'll give ourselves $100 for gas. Um, you see how it's calculating here. We've still got money. So let's see, we have our electric bill that is due before my next, before the next paycheck. So let's just say we have $100 in electric. Water is also due before my next paycheck and that's $50. Another 70 for internet because that's due before my next paycheck. Oh, good. Transportation, that would be gas. So we'll just move that 100 here. Um, let's say I have computer replacement that I'm saving up for. So we'll say I'll just put 50 here. Um, I have a Vacation I'm slowly saving up for for next year. So we'll put $20 here. I have a gym membership that is coming out before my next paycheck. So we'll just put $30 here for the gym. I have a ton of software subscriptions and they're all coming out before my next paycheck. So I will cover those. So we'll say I've got like 40 bucks in subscriptions. So I've got $140 left. So, and I had given myself a little pocket money, maybe. So we'll just put, we'll give, we'll say $20 just to play with and another 60 to eat out on. So I've got $60 here that I need to give a job to. So I would use that to either get ahead on debt or I would put it in my savings account. So you could we'll do that. We're going to add a category. And we're going to put that $60 here to transfer to savings. And every dollar has been given a job, but you'll notice I prioritized bills and everything that was upcoming first. And then I started seeing how I could get ahead. So I could have either taken this $60 and put, I could have put 10 more towards my mortgage. I could do pretty much anything I wanted with it to use and use it to my advantage. But you'll see that $0 is left just sitting here without a job. We've told it, we've told every dollar where to go. We haven't deprived ourselves. We've covered everything that we know is coming due within the next, before the next paycheck. And we've also started planning for major expenses that we know are already coming out. So instead of the, instead of this $900 chewing up, $900 of my next paycheck, it only will take 450. And um, depending on how you get paid will depend on how you budget. My husband gets paid every week. So I break all of this up into so like I would break that up into I save up for like a fourth of it. And so and then I get paid twice a month um, from my job. So I use that. Um, I use that money to break up more cross savings and to go towards debt and use his the weekly payments for our regular bills and groceries and living expenses. And that's how I balance it. But you'll see that this tool allows you to see where everything is and you can easily move money around. Um, it's and it's a really it's a great tool. But budgeting by paycheck you want to make sure you're using the budget by paycheck method to plan ahead on expenses that you know are upcoming and spread those pay spread those payments out across your paychecks and plan and use it intentionally rather than just 
oh my God, my rent's due tomorrow and I just got paid. There goes my whole paycheck. Um, this way it gives you more wiggle room and it gives you more freedom. And this way you can see it and import everything. This is a great tool. I have been using it for three years now and I love it. So I hope this is helpful. Okay, you guys, I hope that that was helpful and I hope that it kind of gave you some insight into how you can budget by paycheck and how that can really help you begin to get ahead um, and start to feel a little more stable and a little more secure when it comes to your bills and also help you start breaking the paycheck to paycheck cycle. So if you're interested, there is a link in my description down below where I give you a code basically where you can sign up for YNAB. You can get a 34 day free trial. Um, and it is an affiliate link. So if you end up, if you end up signing up and staying, I do get a month free, but it is an annual subscription. So I'm not necessarily sure how that works, but that's how it works. But I just, honestly, I don't care. Use my link. Don't use my link. I don't care. I think it's a wonderful tool and everybody should use it. So in my next video, and I'm looking at my list right here, I'm going to be talking about little changes that will make your life so much easier. And these are actually some changes that I made that drastically improved my life. So um, I will see you guys in the next one.